Hong Kong, officially called the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of the People's Republic of China, is a metropolitan area and special administrative region of the People's Republic of China on the eastern Pearl River Delta of the South China Sea. With over 7.5 million people of various nationalities in a 1,104 square kilometer 426 square miles territory, Hong Kong is one of the most densely populated places in the world. Hong Kong became a colony of the British Empire after the Qing Empire ceded Hong Kong Island at the end of the First Opium War in 1842. The colony expanded to the Kowloon Peninsula in 1860 after the Second Opium War, and was further extended when Britain obtained a 99-year lease of the new territories in 1898. The whole territory was transferred to China in 1997. As a special administrative region, Hong Kong maintains separate governing and economic systems from that of mainland China under a principle of one country, two systems. Originally a sparsely populated area of farming and fishing villages, the territory has become one of the world's most significant financial centers and commercial ports. It is the world's 10th largest exporter and 9th largest importer. Hong Kong has a major capitalist service economy characterized by low taxation and free trade, and its currency, the Hong Kong dollar, is the eighth most traded currency in the world. Hong Kong is home to the second highest number of billionaires of any city in the world, the highest number of billionaires of any city in Asia, and the largest concentration of ultra-high net worth individuals of any city in the world. Although the city has one of the highest per capita incomes in the world, severe income inequality exists among its residents. Hong Kong is a highly developed territory and ranks fourth on the UN Human Development Index. The city also has the largest number of skyscrapers of any city in the world, and its residents have some of the highest life expectancies in the world. The dense space also led to a developed transportation network with public transport rates exceeding 90%. Hong Kong is ranked sixth in the Global Financial Centers Index and is the ranked fourth in Asia after Tokyo, Shanghai and Singapore. The Hong Kong region is first known to have been occupied by humans during the Neolithic period, about 6,000 years ago. However in 2003, stone tools were excavated at the Wang Tai Tung archaeological site, which optical luminescence testing showed date to between 35,000 and 39,000 years ago. Early Hong Kong settlers were a semi-coastal people who migrated from inland and brought knowledge of rice cultivation. The Qin Dynasty incorporated the Hong Kong area into China for the first time in 214 BCE, after conquering the indigenous Baiyui. The earliest European visitor was Portuguese explorer Jorge Alvarez, who arrived in 1513. Portuguese merchants established a trading post called Tamau in Hong Kong waters, and began regular trade with southern China. Although the traders were expelled after military clashes in the 1520s, Portuguese-Chinese trade relations were re-established by 1549. Portugal acquired a permanent lease for Macau in 1557. After the Qing conquest, maritime trade was banned under the hygiene policies. The Kangxi emperor lifted the prohibition, allowing foreigners to enter Chinese ports in 1684. Qing authorities established the Canton system in 1757 to regulate trade more strictly, restricting non-Russian ships to the port of Canton. Although European demand for Chinese commodities like tea, silk, and porcelain was high, Chinese interest in European manufactured goods was insignificant, so that Chinese goods could only be bought with precious metals. To reduce the trade imbalance, the British sold large amounts of Indian opium to China. Faced with a drug crisis, Qing officials pursued ever more aggressive actions to halt the opium trade. In 1839, the Daoguang Emperor rejected proposals to legalize and tax opium and ordered Imperial Commissioner Lin Zexu to eradicate the opium trade. The commissioner destroyed opium stockpiles and halted all foreign trade, triggering a British military response and the First Opium War. The Qing surrendered early in the war and ceded Hong Kong Island in the Convention of Chuanpai. However, both countries were dissatisfied and did not ratify the agreement. After more than a year of further hostilities, Hong Kong Island was formally ceded to the United Kingdom in the 1842 Treaty of Nanking. Administrative infrastructure was quickly built by early 1842, but piracy, disease, and hostile Qing policies initially prevented the government from attracting commerce. 
Conditions on the island improved during the Taiping Rebellion in the 1850s, when many Chinese refugees, including wealthy merchants, fled mainland turbulence and settled in the colony. Further tensions between the British and Qing over the opium trade escalated into the Second Opium War. The Qing were again defeated, and forced to give up Kowloon Peninsula and Stonecutters Island in the Convention of Peking. By the end of this war, Hong Kong had evolved from a transient colonial outpost into a major transshipment port. Rapid economic improvement during the 1850s attracted foreign investment, as potential stakeholders became more confident in Hong Kong's future. The colony was further expanded in 1898, when Britain obtained a 99-year lease of the new territories. The University of Hong Kong was established in 1911 as the territory's first institution of higher education. Kai Tak Airport began operation in 1924, and the colony avoided a prolonged economic downturn after the 1925-26 Canton-Hong Kong strike. At the start of the Second Sino-Japanese War in 1937, Governor Joffrey Northcote declared Hong Kong a neutral zone to safeguard its status as a free port. The colonial government prepared for a possible attack, evacuating all British women and children in 1940. The Imperial Japanese Army attacked Hong Kong on 8 December 1941, the same morning as its attack on Pearl Harbor. Hong Kong was occupied by Japan for almost four years before Britain resumed control on 30 August 1945. Its population rebounded quickly after the war, as skilled Chinese migrants fled from the Chinese Civil War, and more refugees crossed the border when the Communist Party took control of mainland China in 1949. Hong Kong became the first of the four Asian tiger economies to industrialize during the 1950s. With a rapidly increasing population, the colonial government began reforms to improve infrastructure and public services. The Public Housing Estate Program, Independent Commission Against Corruption ICAC, and Mass Transit Railway were all established during the post-war decades to provide safer housing, integrity in the civil service, and more reliable transportation. Although the territory's competitiveness in manufacturing gradually declined due to rising labor and property costs, it transitioned to a service-based economy. By the early 1990s, Hong Kong had established itself as a global financial center and shipping hub. The colony faced an uncertain future as the end of the new territory's lease approached, and Governor Murray Mac Lahose raised the question of Hong Kong's status with Deng Xiaoping in 1979. Diplomatic negotiations with China resulted in the 1984 Sino-British Joint Declaration, in which the United Kingdom agreed to transfer the colony in 1997 and China would guarantee Hong Kong's economic and political systems for 50 years after the transfer. The impending transfer triggered a wave of mass emigration as residents feared an erosion of civil rights, the rule of law, and quality of life. Over half a million people left the territory during the peak migration period, from 1987 to 1996. Hong Kong was transferred to China on 1 July 1997, after 156 years of British rule. Immediately after the transfer, Hong Kong was severely affected by several crises. The government was forced to use substantial foreign exchange reserves to maintain the Hong Kong dollar's currency peg during the 1997 Asian financial crisis, and the recovery from this was muted by an H5N1 avian flu outbreak and a housing surplus. This was followed by the 2003 SARS epidemic, during which the territory experienced its most serious economic downturn. Political debates after the transfer of sovereignty have centered around the region's democratic development and the central government's adherence to the one country, two systems principle. After reversal of the last colonial era Legislative Council democratic reforms following the handover, the regional government unsuccessfully attempted to enact national security legislation pursuant to Article 23 of the Basic Law. The central government decision to implement nominee pre-screening before allowing chief executive elections triggered a series of protests in 2014 which became known as the Umbrella Revolution. Discrepancies in the electoral registry and disqualification of elected legislators after the 2016 Legislative Council elections and enforcement of national law in the West Kowloon high-speed railway station raised further concerns about the region's autonomy. In June 2019, large protests again erupted in response to a proposed extradition amendment bill permitting extradition of fugitives to mainland China. 
The protests have continued into December, possibly becoming the largest scale political protest movement in Hong Kong history, with organizers claiming to have attracted more than one million Hong Kong residents. The territory is divided into 18 districts, each represented by a district council. These advise the government on local issues such as public facility provisioning, community program maintenance, cultural promotion, and environmental policy. There are a total of 479 district council seats, 452 of which are directly elected. Rural committee chairmen, representing outlying villages and towns, fill the 27 non-elected seats. Hong Kong is governed by a hybrid regime that is not fully representative of the population. Legislative council members elected by functional constituencies composed of professional and special interest groups are accountable to those narrow corporate electorates and not the general public. This electoral arrangement has guaranteed a pro-establishment majority in the legislature since the transfer of sovereignty. Similarly, the chief executive is selected by establishment politicians and corporate members of the election committee rather than directly elected. Although universal suffrage for chief executive and all legislative council elections are defined goals of Basic Law Articles 45 and 68, the legislature is only partially directly elected and the executive continues to be nominated by an unrepresentative body. The government has been repeatedly petitioned to introduce direct elections for these positions. Ethnic minorities have marginal representation in government, and often experience discrimination in housing, education, and employment. Employment vacancies and public service appointments frequently have language requirements which minority job seekers do not meet, and language education resources remain inadequate for Chinese learners. Foreign domestic helpers, predominantly women from the Philippines and Indonesia, have little protection under regional law. Although they live and work in Hong Kong, these workers are not treated as ordinary residents and are ineligible for right of abode in the territory. Hong Kong has a capitalist mixed-service economy, characterized by low taxation, minimal government market intervention, and an established international financial market. It is the world's 35th largest economy, with a nominal GDP of approximately US$373 billion. Although Hong Kong's economy has ranked at the top of the Heritage Foundation's Economic Freedom Index since 1995, the territory has a relatively high level of income disparity. The Hong Kong Stock Exchange is the seventh largest in the world, with a market capitalization of 30.4 trillion Hong Kong dollars, 3.87 trillion United States dollars as of December 2018. Hong Kong is the 10th largest trading entity in exports and imports, trading more goods in value than its gross domestic product. Over half of its cargo throughput consists of goods traveling through Hong Kong. Products from mainland China account for about 40% of that traffic. The city's location allowed it to establish a transportation and logistics infrastructure which includes the world's seventh busiest container port and the busiest airport for international cargo. The territory's largest export markets are mainland China and the United States.